and gentlemen, Block Send welcomes you to this evening's production of Hamilton at the Victoria Palace Theatre. At this time we ask that you turn off all cell phones and pagers, and please refrain from any photography of this performance. Please be advised that this production contains fog, haze, smoke, gunshots and or loud, sudden noises. For the unlikely event of an emergency, please take a moment to locate the exit nearest to you. And now, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. In the middle of a forgotten spot in the Caribbean by providence of poverty and squalor. Grow up to be a hero and a scholar. The ten dollar founded father without a father got a lot farther by working a lot harder by being a lot smarter by being a self starter by 14. They placed him in charge of the trading charter. And every day while slaves were being slaughtered and carted away Across the waves he struggled and kept his guard up Inside he was longing for something to be a part of The brother was ready to beg, steal, borrow, or barter Then a hurricane came, devastation rained on man he saw his future drip, dripping down the drain For the picture to his temple, connected it to his brain Wrote his first refrain, a testament to his pain. Well, the word got around and said, This kid is insane, man. Took up a collection just to send him to the pain, man. Get your education, don't forget from whence you came. And the world's gonna know your name. What's your name, man? Alexander Hamilton. My name is Alexander Hamilton. There's a million things I haven't done. Just you wait, just you wait. When he was taken by the street, full of it, dead, freed, and two years later, see Alex and his mother bed, ridden half dead, sitting in their own sick, a scent thick. And Alex got better, but his mother went quiet. Living with a cousin, the cousin committed suicide, left him with nothing but ruined brides, a balloon inside of water. For someone less astute, he would have been destitute without a cent or restitution. Started working, working for his late mother's landlord, drinking sugar cane and rolling all the things he can't afford. He's standing for every book he can get his hands on. Heading for the future, see him now as he stands on the barrel of a ship. Heading for a new land in New York, you can be a new man. New York, you can be a new man. Country, I'm young, scrappy, and hungry, and I'm not 
Situation is fraught. You've got to be carefully taught. If you talk, you're gonna get shot. Bird, check what we got. Mr. Lafayette, hard rock like Lancelot. I think your pants look hot. Lawrence, I like you a lot. That's how you plot. Blacker than the kettle call in the pot. What are the odds that God will put us all in one spot? Pump in a squad and conventional wisdom like it or not. A bunch of revolutionary men, you mission abolitionists. Give me a position, show me where the ammunition is. <laughs> Death so much it feels more like a memory. When's it gonna get me? In my sleep, seven feet ahead of me. If I see it coming, do I run or do I let it be? Is it like a beat without a melody? See, I never thought I'd live past 20. Where I come from, some get half as many. Ask anybody why we live it fast and we laugh, reach for a blast. We have to make this moment last. But Jesus, between all the bleeding and fighting, I've been reading and writing. We need to handle our financial situation. Are we a nation of states with a state of our nation? A past patiently waiting, a passion and fashion. Expectation, every action, an act of creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties of sorrow. For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow. I am not Than going downtown and slumming it with the poor. They pull up in their carriages and gawk at the students in the common just to watch them talk. Take Philip Schuyler, the man is loaded. Uh oh, but little does he know that his daughters, Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, stay in the city just to watch all the guys. It Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy, Angelica, Eliza, Peggy. For a minded way, I'm looking for a minded way, I'm looking for a minded way, 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 Someone in a rush, nigga, someone looking pretty Excuse me, miss, I know it's not funny But your perfume smells like your daddy's got money But you're slumming in the city in your fancy heels You're searching for an urchin who can give you ideals Sir, you disgust me, I'm 
me. Ah, so you disgust me. I'm a trust fund, baby. You can trust me. I've been reading common sense by Thomas Paine. So men say that I'm intense or I'm insane. You want a revolution? I want a revelation. So listen to my declaration. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. And when I become a skeptic, Tell them we need 
surprise and rally the guys, master the elements of surprise. Rise above my station, organize your information till we rise to the occasion of our new mission. So here comes the general. Son of a go on and on grow into more of a phenomenon. Watch this obnoxious, arrogant, loud mouth father. Be seated at the right hand of the father. Washington hires Hamilton right on sight. But Hamilton still wants to fight, not right. Now Hamilton's skill with the quill is undeniable. But what do we have in common? We're reliable with the ladies. Named her feral tomcat after him. That's true. 1780, oh, winter's ball. And the Skylar sisters are the envy of all. Yo, if you could free a sister, your rich son. Is it a question of if, her, or which one? Hey, 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 hey. fighting a war for us to meet, it will have been worth it. I'll leave you to it.
keep his eyes in my life. so despondent. I have taken over writing all this correspondence. Congress writes, George, attack the British forces. I shoot back. We have resorted to eating our horses. Sir. A thousand soldiers die in a hundred degree heat as we snatch a stalemate from the jaws of defeat. Charles Lee was left behind without a pot to piss in. He started saying this to anybody who would listen. Washington cannot be left alone to his devices. Indecisive from crisis to crisis. The best thing he can do for the revolution is turn and go back to planting tobacco in Mount Vernon. <laughs> Don't do a thing. History will prove him wrong. But sir, we have a war to fight. Let's move along. Strong words from Lee. Someone ought to hold him to it. I can't disobey direct orders. Then I'll do it. Alexander, you're the closest friend I've got. Lawrence, do not throw away your shot. And so their balance shifts. 
We rendezvous with Rochambeau, consolidate their gifts. We can end this war in Yorktown, cut them off at sea, but for this to succeed, there is someone else we need. I know. So he knows what to do in the trenches, you know it's about fluid in French, I mean. So you're gonna have to use them eventually, what's he gonna do in the bench, I mean? No one has more resilience or matches my practical, tactical brilliance. You want to fight for your land back? Hey, my right hand man back. Get your right hand man back. You know you gotta get your right hand man back. I know you gotta put the bomb to the land of Alexander Hamilton, troops are waiting in the field for you. If you join us right now, together we can turn the tide. Oh, Alexander Hamilton, I have soldiers that will yield for you. If we manage to get this right, they'll surrender my own. I'm so blue I thought that we made an arrangement when you went away You were mine to subdue Well, even despite our estrangement I've got a small query for you Don't come crawling back to me da 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 to see our glory. Alexander, there's a letter for you. It's from John Warren's. I'll read it later. But I will gladly join the fight. No, it's from his father. His father? And when our children tell our story, will you read it for me? They'll tell the story of tonight. On Tuesday the 27th, my son was killed in a gunfight against British troops retreating from South Carolina. The war was already over. 
As you know, John dreamed of emancipating and recruiting 3,000 men for the first all-black military regiment. His dream of freedom for these men dies with him. Tomorrow there'll be more of us. Alexander, are you all right? I have so much work to do. After the war, I went back to New York. After the war, I went back to New York. I finished up my studies and I practiced law. I practiced law. Burr worked next door. Even though we started at the very same time, Alexander Hamilton began to climb. How to account for his rise to the top? Man, the man is nonsense. Alexander? Aaron Burr. Sir. Well, it's the middle of the night. Can we confer, sir? Is this a legal matter? Yes, and it's important to me. What do you need? Burr, you're a better lawyer than me. Okay. I know I talk too much. I'm abrasive. You're incredible in court. You're succinct, persuasive. My client needs a strong defense. You're the solution. Who's your client? The new U.S. Constitution. And what if you're backing the wrong horse? Burr, we studied and we fought and we killed for the notion of a nation we now get to build. For once in your life, take a stand with pride. I don't understand. I just stand to the side. James Madison and John Jay to write a series of essays defending the new United States Constitution entitled The Federalist Papers. They're asking me to leave. I'm doing the best I can to get the people that I need. I'm asking you to be my right hand. Friend. I know it's a lot to ask. Or stay behind the wall. You know. Sir, do you want me to run the Treasury or State Department? Treasury. Let's go. Alexander. I have to leave. Alexander. Look around, look around at how lucky we are to be alive right now.
plan through Congress. I can't stop till I get this plan through Congress. Missing my wife. That's when Miss Mariah Reynolds walked into my life, she said. I know you are a man of honor. I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but I don't know where to go. And I came here all along. She said, My husband's doing me wrong, beating me, cheating me, mistreating me. Suddenly he's up and gone. I don't have the means to go on. So to walk her home, she said. You're too kind, sir. I gave her 30 bucks that I had socked away. She lived a block away, she said. This one's mine, sir. I wish I could say that was the last time. I said that last time. It became a pastime. A month into this endeavor, I received a letter from a Mr. James Reynolds. Even better, it said. Dear sir, I hope this letter finds you in good health and in a prosperous enough position to put wealth in the pockets of people like me down on their luck. You see, that was my wife who decided to. Uh oh, you made the wrong sucker a cucko. So time to pay the piper for the pants you want buckle. And hey, you can keep seeing my wife if the price is right. If not, I'm telling you, your wife. I hit the letter and I race to a place. Dream no punch you in the face, she said. No. Secretary. Mr. Burr, sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claremont Street? Yeah. And he renamed it after him. The Mercer Legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. Yeah, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. <laughs> And an immigrant walk into a room Diametrically opposed Foes. They emerged with a compromise Having open doors that were previously closed Bros. The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power A system can shape however he wants The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital And here's the pièce de resistance No one else was in the room where we happened The room where we happened The room where we happened No one else was in the room where it happened The room in the room where it happened No one really knows how the game is played The art of the trade, how the sausage gets made We just assume that it happens No one else is in the room where it happens or did you know even then it doesn't matter where you put the U.S. capital? Because we all have the banks. We're in the same spot. You got more than you gave. And I wanted what I got when you got skin in the game, you stay in the game. 
But you don't get a win unless you play in the game. Oh, you got love for it. You got hate for it. You got nothing if you wait for it, wait for it, wait. God help and forgive me. I want to build something that's gonna outlive me. Oh, you want to love me? You want to love me? I want to be in the room where it happens. The room where it happens. I. Wanna be in the room where it happens, the room where it happens. Trade away. We dream of a brand new start. But we dream in the dark for the most part. Dark is the truth where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. I've got to be in the room where it happens. Click boom. Grandpa's in the paper. War hero Philip Schuyler loses Senate seat to young upstart Aaron Burr. Grandpa just lost his seat in the Senate. Sometimes that's how it goes. Daddy's gonna find out any minute. I'm sure he already knows. Further down, further down, down. let's meet the newest senator from New York. New York, our senator. Have you read this? Alexander Hamilton had a tour and a fair, and he wrote it down right there. Highline! The argument me is a connection with one James Reynolds. For purposes of improper speculation, my real crime is a terrorist connection with his wife for a considerable time with his knowing consent. I have frequent meetings with her. Mrs. Hamilton, with our children being absent on a visit to her father. No. Uh, Have you read this? She never gonna be president now. 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 One less thing to worry about. That's one less thing to worry about. <laughs> And just us, thank God someone who understands what I'm struggling here to do. I'm not here for you. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. I love my sister more than anything in this life. I will choose her happiness over mine every time. Put what we had aside. I'm standing at her side. You can never be satisfied. Thank you.
Meet the latest graduate of King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but that guy amazing and astonished. The scholars say I got the same virtuosity. Your brains is my pops. The ladies say my brain's not where the resemblance stops. I'm only 19, but my mind is older. Gotta be my own man, like my father, but bolder. I shoulder his legacy with pride. I used to hear him say that someday I would blow us Pops, if you had only heard this said about you i doubt you would have let it slide and i was not about to slow down i came to ask you for advice this is my very first school they don't exactly cover the subject in boarding school did your friends attempt to negotiate a peace he refused to apologize we had to let the peace talk cease where is this happening across the river in jersey everything, everything is legal in new jersey. jersey all right so this is what you're gonna do stand there like a man until eco is in front of you when the time comes fire your weapon in the air this will put an end to the whole affair. But what if he decides to shoot, then I'm a goner. No, you'll follow suit if he's truly a man of honor. To take someone's life, that is something you can't shake. Philip, your mother can't take another heartbreak. Father, promise me. You don't want this young man's blood on your conscience? Okay, I promise. Come back home when you're done. Take my guns. Be smart. Make me proud, son. My name is Philip. I am a poet. I'm a little nervous, but I can't show it. I'm sorry, I'm a Hamilton with pride. You talk about my father, I cannot let it slide. Mr. Eaker, how was the rest of your show? I'd rather skip the pleasantries. Let's go. Grab your pistol. Confer with your men. The duel will commence after we count to ten. Count to ten. Look him in the eye, ain't no higher. Summon all the courage you require. And slowly and clearly aim your gun towards the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mr. Hamilton, come in. They brought him in a half an hour ago. He lost a lot of blood. Yes, and was... yes, but you have to understand. The bullet entered just above his hip and lodged with his can right arm. Can I see him, please? I'm doing everything I can. But the wound was already infected when he arrived.
Was Thomas Jefferson his enemy, a man he's despised since the beginning, just to keep me from winning? I want to be in the room where he happens, the room where he happens, the room where he happens. You've kept me from the room where he happens for the last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are ten things you need to know. We rode across the Hudson at dawn. My friend William P. Van Ness signed on as my number two. Hamilton arrived with his crew. Nathaniel Pendleton and the doctor that he knew. Number three. I watched Hamilton examine the terrain. They won't teach you this in your classes, but look it up. Hamilton was wearing his glasses. Why? If not to take deadly aim, it's him or me. The world will never be the same. I had only one thought before the slaughter. This man will not make an orphan of my daughter. Number nine, look him in the eye, aim no higher. Summon all the courage you require, then count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Number ten, place is fire. I imagine death so much it feels more like a memory. Is this where it gets me? On my feet, several feet ahead of me. Eliza! My love, take your time. I'll see you on the other side. Raise a glass to freedom. He aims his pistol at the sky! Wait! I strike him right between his ribs. I walk towards him, but I am ushered away. They row him back across the Hudson. I get a drink. I hear wailing in the street. Somebody tells me you better hide. Angelica and Eliza were both at his side when he died. Death doesn't discriminate between the sinners and the saints. It takes and it takes and it takes. History obliterates and every picture it paints. It paints me and all my mistakes. When Alexander reigned at the sky, he may have been the first one to die. Madison, 
He took our country from bankruptcy to prosperity. I hate to admit it, but he doesn't get enough credit for all the credit he gave us. Who lives, who dies, who tells your story? Every other founding father's story gets told. Every other founding father gets to grow old. When you're gone, who remembers your name? Who keeps your fame? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Who tells your story? Another 50.